My name is Steven Wonderboy Thompson. I am a UFC welterweight contender. I've been fighting in the UFC since 2012. I train two, three times a day. I teach classes during the day. And we have an after school program of picking kids up from school. So my day is pretty busy, but all I know is the martial arts training, trying to get better every day, preparing for a fight, because I've been fighting for so long. There's some pictures when he was fighting as younger. Here's dad yeah, and son sure. right here. That was about 100 years ago. God, we look like yeah. dorks. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I started the martial arts when I was three years old. Kind of had no say so growing up. It was mandatory in the household. So my dad fought back in the 70s and 80s. My sister fought before me. So they were kind of my inspiration to start competing. 15 years old, my dad, for my first fight, had me fight a guy who was 28 years old, 20 and 0. Ended up beating the brakes off the guy. And uh, which is how I actually got my, my nickname, The Wonder Boy. After the fight, my, the announcer asked my opponent, hey, what'd you think about this, this kid, Stephen Thompson? And um, my opponent was like, I wondered why I stepped in the ring with this boy. And the announcer called me Wonder Boy, and it stuck with me ever since. Through fighting and through the UFC, competing against the best fighters in the world. I mean, who can say that? They've actually fought the best guys in the entire world. And I think that's something pretty special. So I love to train. Even when I'm not, I'm not in training camp, I'm constantly training, probably two, twice a day. In training camp, I train two to three times a day. But that's not all I do during the day. I'm hustling all day long. It's crazy and busy. I'm the head kids instructor at Upstate Karate, so I spend a lot of time here at the gym. I live here. I only go home to sleep, and that's it. I spend most of my time in the school. What's up, brother? Come on in. Hey, hey, Ron, what's happening? All right, guys, have a seat. Yeah. Seat belts on, you know the drill. I actually pick up kids from school. We have an after-school program at our gym. We've had for, oh man, close to 20 years, and I've been a part of that. I, I literally get in a bus and I drive to schools and pick up kids from school. I was kind of like one of their first bus drivers, I guess, if you will, uh, when I was a teenager. My first job, picking up kids from school for my parents. I love it, I love it. And then at four o'clock, we drop the kids off, and from four to about eight o'clock, I'm teaching kids classes. Everybody, ready? Go! Go! Toes straight ahead, party faces on. And bow. Growing up in a martial arts school has taught me not just to be a good martial artist, to be a good man. Left side, step. Other left side. Now we got our hands up, knees bent. Work that shell block in good control. Ready? And go! Where's that shell block? Good control. You know, when people think about karate, they think about, you know, just kicking and punching or beating up somebody. When the self-defense aspect is a very small aspect of the martial arts. Learning modesty, courtesy, integrity, self-control, perseverance, showing that indomitable spirit, that perseverance, is what it's all about. And stop! Bow to your partner bum gloves. So my life is pretty busy. I train two, three times a day. I teach classes during the day. And we have an after-school program. It starts at 8 o'clock and doesn't end till 9 o'clock p.m. So it's very difficult for me to actually go and grab a meal. So P3, it's easy, it's on the go, and that protein gives me the fuel to kind of keep going throughout the day. We can do one of three things. We can do a thousand push-ups. Yeah! We can grab a partner and slow dance. Yeah! Or we can play dodgeball. Yeah! I guess it's dodgeball. Yeah! 